Okay, this vehicle will pick off where uh, the last one, Stops Part 8, left off. And hopefully it'll be the uh, last one in this little mini-series on how to create a uh, basic website and lay it out using styles. So uh, last time we uh, we pretty much, uh, what? let's take a look at what we have so far. We have our, our table inside of our uh, div wrapper, our div header, div footer, and div content area. Uh, what we might want to do is make sh make this table come down a little bit from the top so it's not right up, the up against that. We'll look at how to do that. And maybe we'll style the heading and the footer. And then we'll create another page and move the style to an external style sheet. All these styles to an external style sheet so you can see how that works. So first, let's see if we can get the table so it's not butted up right against that header or the top of the, of the uh, div content block. And we could use margin, the margin style, margin top dash top. And maybe we'll do um, on the five pixels and see what that looks like. All right, we'll save that. Come over here and refresh and see what it looks like. And that puts it just about right. Maybe that's a good idea. Now let's take a look at maybe the headings in the uh, div and the header. T head, T foot. Maybe we want some styles for that. Now if we want to, um, and I'm putting these together, they don't have to be in this in this order. Um, you could make a class style for this or a head style. But maybe I want all my tables to take on this this you know this style. So maybe background color, right? Um, and what we could do here is I could pick out a color here, or I also have my little web sheet here that I could my cheat sheet that I might want to use. And uh, I'm not maybe I'll do well maybe I'll just do black actually, make the background color black, and we'll make the color white. Let's just do that makes a stark contrast. So T head and maybe even T foot. All my tables then using this will be the same thing. I'll just copy and paste this. All right, and I could center center the text as well. Maybe I'll do that. So text align center. Let's try that. Text align center on there. All right, and then we'll copy and paste that and put it on the footer as well. Let's just see what it looks like. All right, so we'll save it. Come over here to the browser and preview it. There we go. That's not too bad looking. And if you want, maybe you want a light background in here, inside your uh, content area, you could certainly do that. Maybe here's where I could pick something out. Maybe, uh, I'm not sure this is all going to match because I'm just kind of doing it on the fly here. Maybe like an Alice Blue. I don't know. How does that look? So we'll just take that and maybe for the uh, content background, right? Where's the co content background right here? We could just say background color. You can use background or background color. It doesn't really matter. I'll just put it in like this. And I'll use the hex value. And make sure I have the semicolon there. Right, and I'll save it. And just see what that looks like. There, well, and now maybe I want it, that what it did is it came through to the table. So maybe I want the table, right, the background color for that now. Maybe I want to set that to white or something, you know, that I can certainly see the text a little bit better. So I'll come in here like this. So this table. Maybe I want the background color, or if I want to just do it for table, I could have a table tag and make it, uh, you know, all my table background color white. So just try that and see what this looks like. And we'll refresh. There we go. And then again, if you want your background of your body, right, outside the wrapper, if you want that to be a certain color, you could certainly do that. Maybe you want that to be, you know, I'll just pick some sort of gray color here, but let's just see what we got. Maybe I'll make it some sort of light gray, like uh, maybe all E's. And that's an easy one. So let's just do that. So for the body, then I could do a background color for that too, right? Background. And paste that in there. Oops. Paste that in there. And semicolon. So let's just see what this looks like. So you can see how it can start to come together. Real easy here. Oops. Maybe not. What did I do? Oh, I spelled it wrong. Let's try it again. Save it. Refresh. There we go. So now you can you can see your about your page. All right. Um, we could also style. You know, you could put other things in under your your homes if you want. Like uh, you know, in here for uh, Westminster, Maryland. Let's see. You know, that's the header here. Uh, what do we have? Oh, we have the text. You could put something under under here if you want, like br. Right. This is home home one and you could put this in a span tag you could make it bold whatever you want to do right so uh, just trying to dress it up a little bit here you could center it as well all kinds of good, good things you could do here but I'm just trying to 
at least label these homes in some way. And you can use your imagination how you can make this a little bit better. So I'll save it. Let's take a look. Right home one, home two. There you go. It pushes it up, makes it look a little bit better. Now what we might want to do is make a link just to the first one. We're going to make another page. And when I click on the picture, I want to go to a, a page just for that home, let's say. And there I could use my larger image and, and some maybe the same text. All right. So we'll do that. And then um, we'll, once we get that done, we'll pull the styles out into an external style sheet. So um, actually, let's create the page first. So maybe I'll have this as home. We'll make it home one, right? So I could, uh, a couple ways I could do this. I could right click, actually over here, right click and do file save as, or I could just copy it. Oh, save as, isn't it here? Uh, I can't do that. Or I can just do copy, I guess. Well, no, okay, hold on. A couple ways to do this in here. File, save as. And I'll save it as home one. Not to be, not to be confused with home page one or something. So home one, right? And the th now when I open it up, you'll see that, um, oops. And we open up both of them now. I get default and home up here. So here's home one, and uh, I've got all the same styles, and uh, and I'll just make sure the title says home one, so I know where I am, right? Uh, okay. So home in your home is in your area. I'll just say home one. All right. All right. Um, and now what I might want to do is I could use the same table, I guess. Maybe I'll use a larger image, and maybe I'll make it um, have two rows. One row will contain the image, and one the other row will just contain the text. So let's try this. So I'll just do TR like that, right? And come up here and do another TR. And then we'll have the get rid of this last one to see how this works. Okay, the body. So what does that look like? If I refresh it. Now I have to go to uh, home one up here, right? Click in here, and, or I can preview it. I could just double click on the, uh, go back to uh, <clears throat> expression a little bit. All right, it's not centered. It's a little bit larger than I wanted it to be. Uh, maybe I can take out some of the text, um, or I could just say home one up here and get rid of this home one down here. That might free it up a little bit, so I could try that. So maybe I'll do that. So I'll just take out the uh, home one here, right, and put it up here. So we know where we are and I'll take out the BR tag and maybe that'll just luck us out and give us enough room here. Again, a lot of trial and error as we go through this, right? And set it up the way we want. So save it and refresh. Uh, close. Maybe I'll take some of the text out. Picture's just a little bit too big or I'd have to make the uh, uh, make it a little bit larger. So let's just take out the last row of this and see if this works. All right. It's gonna be look a little tight. You can you know you could fix this up a little bit, but for time reasons for this video, I'm not gonna do it. There we go. So I might want to center the photo, right? So if I could, you know, I might want to try that. So I could do a a TD here. Maybe I could do a style, or I could center that photo a little bit. But I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So we've got that in here, and now what I want to do is remove these styles and into an external style sheet. So because you can see that, say I had a thousand uh, web pages. And the uh, the client comes to me and says, "Okay, it's St. Patty's Day, and we want all of our headings and footers to be green, aha, and maybe our backgrounds too." So then, what do you do? Well, then you'd have to go through all thousand pages and change this. This is a, this is in an internal style in each page. So what we will do is let's go over here, right click, and do new and create a, a CSS file style sheet file. Right? We'll just call it styles. That CSS, another good reason for external style sheets. Open that up. And then all I have to do is go over here to, you know, both pages have the same styles, right? We just copied them. So I'll just copy everything between the style uh, tags. And I'll do Control X to get rid of it, right? And I'll come over here and do Control V to paste it in. I might even highlight it a little bit and do Alt Tab to send it back a little bit. Okay. And so now I have my styles, and what I want to do to default here is take out my style. Well, I can, I'll just link it in like this. I'll show you in a second here. So I'll take that out, go to Home 1, take out the whole style section, right? And this separates content from uh, design. So and that's what you want to try and do, too, as you develop your pages. So now, if you take a look at them, if it, it's going to look pretty ugly. 
Right? Oh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> so what we want to do then is drag this over. So and I can't remember, I remember, it depends on the software package you're in, how this works, but you can just drag it over. And that way it does a link, so that's not what you want. I'm trying to think of it. So if you if you're on design view, I think it, it, it does it. So if I just drag it over on design view and let it go, there it does. It works that way. I don't know why it doesn't work in the code view. And here's the because I can never remember the syntax. So here's the syntax. Link, uh, hyperlink reference styles, right? So you could have your styles in a separate folder, and then the path would be there. Relationship, it's a style sheet and it's type text CSS. And now it's linked. Okay, as an external style sheet, and I can copy that link now over to default and make that the same thing. Now the only thing we have to do then is, uh, is set it up so that we can link right from default to home one. So I have to uh, set it up on my image here to do that. So I could just do what I could do H ref right, and inside the H ref I can say go to uh, what I want to go to home one. HTM, right, and then the ang ending anchor tag then would be on the other side of the image, and I could indent this to show that this image is now nested inside the hyperlink, right? So let's just see what it looks like. If I go in preview, come back, hit refresh, I mouse over there it is. I click, goes to home home one. And then maybe I could click. Um, I could have a maybe I could click somewhere else to go back home, or I could have another link down here someplace to go back to the uh, to the main page. So you can figure that one out. But I just want to show you this. So now, of course, the client says, "Well, hey, we want everything to be green." So then I could just come over here and figure out well, what color is the green do I want for St. Patty's Day? I don't know. Maybe this one. So uh, we'll just do the heading and header and footer. So I can copy that uh, hex value. And then in my style, of course, wherever I have my header, I could change it to, where is my color? Here it is. So I want to change that there. And then in my footer, same way, right? Of course, now my background and my content area look a little, a little bit different, but nevertheless, oh, <laughs> that's a little bit bright looking. Anyway, you get the idea. And then I could always go back, if I go back to my uh, first page, same thing. It applies to all of them, right? Okay, so that concludes, I guess, this little mini-series on how to create and lay out your web pages using styles, setting them up in div blocks. And there's more ways to arrange this, of course. You can be really creative with this. Uh, the next uh, set of video clips will look at navigation and how we can use div blocks to, uh, to, to uh, lay it out a little differently for navigation, like a horizontal menu bar and a vertical menu, menu bar. The other thing to take note, too, is we're using div blocks right here, but... Uh, with HTML5 coming out, uh, there's new tags now for the header area. There's actually a header tag. There's actually a nav tag. And so, and so instead of using div blocks, you can use those tags. There's a section tag, an article tag, and they can all be used as well um, to enhance your content. It makes it a little bit easier to design. So you'll see, you'll see uh, more use of that in the, as uh, time wears on and the browsers become more compliant with HTML5. Okay.